Ask Reddit by one application 2371. What's an addiction that people often overlook? News addiction. People get addicted to the cortisol hit from getting outraged, so a lot of news outlets realize they just need to keep the cortisol flowing. Edit, per comments, change dopamine to cortisol. Outrage is an addiction. Some people seek it out, actively searching for a reason to hate their neighbors just so they can get their hit of dopamine. It feeds news addiction, tribalism, and eventually extremism. It's the source of so much violence, so many divided houses and ruined lives, but we do nothing to curb it. I remember my uncle, who had a history of domestic violence to my aunt before she passed of cancer, told the family he has an anger problem. My dad said, but you're able to keep it together every time a cop is around, the look on his face and the dead silence. An anger issue is not an excuse. Shopping. I just got back this month after being in rehab for two months for weed, alcohol and cochrane and at my therapy they asked me if I noticed any cross addictions. I told my therapist I think I have a shopping addiction and she told me it's a common addiction that goes unnoticed way too much times. I always laughed at the idea of video game addiction. It sounded so overblown until I met a guy who honestly defined it for me. We used to chat and hang out weekly. He quit his job and now just lives at home with his mum, mooching off her to sit in his room and play games for close to 16 hours a day. After refusing to hang out for long enough I just gave up on him. Finally I found someone who mentioned video games. I grew up gaming, I absolutely loved playing them throughout my entire childhood and into adulthood but I have seen addiction to video games absolutely destroy people. Part of me is glad that I simply don't have the time to be playing them much anymore. Maybe an hour or two a week. But I know adults in their 30s and 40s who are still obsessed, to the point of not wanting to do anything else. Phone addiction no explanation needed. My stomach drops every time I see my daily average screen time. It's hard to realize how much time you spend scrolling until you actually see the numbers. Junk food. Sugar. Soda. I am addicted to these things and wish I can break that habit. I quit smoking quite easily but I cannot for the life of me quit sugar. So much harder ammo. Self harm I still get withdrawals and if something scratches my arms in the right way I need to take a minute to gather myself. Was looking for this comment. PPL don't realize how genuinely addictive it is. Online shopping. Afterpay. I'm still confused how the pay later thing ever became popular. For me it would just increase my anxiety over buying stuff, like the transaction isn't really done yet. What are people getting out of it? Social media addiction. Including Reddit. Source, Reddit addict. Skin picking academatelomania. It's so overlooked that our society has glorified it. We have a show called Dr. Pimple Popper. WTF. I wish I could replace that shitty habit somehow. Staying up late for no reason and because you're afraid to miss out on anything. Or because you don't want the morning to arrive any sooner than it has to. Emotional abuse. Trauma bonds are fucking real. Run while you can. I met this guy who said we fit together like the tops of bell jars. It was so weird how much we related and connected and he's a sleazy mess. Just because someone feels like home does not mean they are good for you. Thankfully I was older and wiser and gracefully walked away. Social affirmation. Lots of people spend all their weekends, free time and money on looking cool, successful and or popular to others. Maladaptive social conformity in general is destroying people's sense of true self as they purely assume personas and masks in the presence of other people. Addiction to work is not only overlooked but celebrated. You know who loves you working 80-90 hours weeks? Your bosses that rationalize withholding overtime pay. 
Nobody else thinks giving up your life to a factory or a semi-truck is a flex. Social media addiction. Way too many people want to be influencers and try to maintain a following to feel wanted and important. It's 10 times more cringe when those people pay companies for bot systems to like and follow them, or they try to leverage their following to avoid having to buy something. Food. Eating is one addicting activity you can't quit. What a nightmare. Caffeine. When I went to boot camp I was worried about not being able to smoke cigarettes, was an avid smoker back then. Never even thought about caffeine. After the first day I suffered overwhelming headaches which turned out to be physical withdrawal from caffeine. Not smoking didn't even bother me. Weird. Self-isolating due to social anxiety, it's not an addiction I know, but it gets me high knowing how lonely I am and there is nothing I can do about it. I am not overweight or unattractive, but I love beating myself up about how socially inept I am. I am addicted to feeling sorry about myself, even though I am relatively good looking and in shape. Fuck. Happy to know I am not alone. Solitude is addictive to though, feels good to have no pressure to perform or engage. You can just be. But it's usually not sustainable, like most addictions. Tribalism. People become indoctrinated and too engrossed to realize it. People become so addicted they choose to kill over sports, vehicle types, religion, s, politics, etc., and it's by design. People act less intelligent when they are a part of a group, mob mentality. Edited because syntax grammar police attack my autofill. Proofread everything kids. Outrage is the addiction. Tribalism is just one of the many crack pipes through which it is consumed. People are seeking outrage. Tribalism gives a sense of legitimacy to the outrage. Celebrities. You don't need to defend your favorite Kardashian or Jenner, because they don't know, nor they care for your existence. Porn addictions. Doesn't seem blatantly harmful but over the long term it can really affect you negatively. Edit, I didn't think this would blow up like it did but I'm glad that so many of you recognize the damage porn does, and I'm super happy to see so many people conquer their addiction. I had a co-work that was fired because he used to spend 7 hours a day watching porn from the work computer. It can be harmful the short term too. Anything legal but bad for your longevity. Alcohol, sugar, and sugar derivatives. People really overlook the detrimental effects of sugar. It's the root of incredible varieties of medical conditions. Yeah it's crazy how overlooked alcohol is in terms of addiction. Personal experience has taught me you can easily get away with killing yourself slowly with booze as long as you are friendly. Do your job and aren't spiraling out of control in the eyes of others. Extraordinarily accepted and actually encouraged despite its potential lethality. The wine mom personality. Drinking that much wine. Only able to attend your kids sporting events with a water bottle full of alcohol. Drinking every time there's a social event, even if you don't feel the need to. Drinking because your kid is crying. Drinking because you don't like your husband. Like honey, you're addicted. This is why I gave up booze. It's such a toxic part of mothering these days. Nasal spray. There are plenty of other much worse things I could shove up my nose, but still. I can't breathe through my nose without it, and I can't stand that it's like this. I've been there. It's pretty fast to reverse the dependency though you can switch to saline or nitty pot for a couple of days to get you over the hump, but I found my nose clears up after 2-3 days without it. 2-3 very uncomfortable sleepless days, mind you. Isolation. Being alone can be really addicting and make you lose a lot of friends and such. Looks or being ideal in general. 
Thanks to social media killing people's self-esteem and forcing them to chase in most cases unreachable goal of being picture perfect. I read something about the most revolutionary thing one can do is not fall for the idea that there's something wrong with you just so they can sell you a solution to a made up problem. Shopping, or unhealthy accumulation of material goods. Being constantly outraged about news, other people's opinions beliefs CTC, then trying to stir up arguments with others. Control. Good game. Can't say it was addictive though. S. Gym addiction. It's the only thing keeping me sane these days. Started cause I wanted to gain muscles. Now the thought of taking a prolonged rest is quite dreadful. The rest part is so true. It's so difficult to let yourself rest, even if it's just for a week. Interestingly, sometimes you end up coming out of the rest week stronger than if you'd kept lifting through it, too. I think I'm addicted to reading novels one after another. Reading novels all the time like a form of escapism and can't bring myself to stop to be more productive in life. This is me. When I'm not reading I hate it. Gossip. If you grew up with a parent that would come home. And talk about how exhausting bad work was or annoying co-workers, it's likely you responded with a bad things annoying people from your day. Well eventually you start to equate gossip talking bad about people as a way to form bonds you may notice, or even do it yourself a lot to and I used to, that people will use it as a talking point to introduce themselves or get closer, and eventually they keep going on and on about people. I used to be like this in high school, then we were on a car ride somewhere and when we got there the person in the front seat turned around and told me they hadn't heard me say one positive thing about anyone in the hour long car ride. I couldn't deny it, so I had to make a change. It is really easy to form a convo with a stranger based off that dumbass you both know though. Statistics in sports or video games. I don't enjoy playing anymore. I'm after the statistics. Validation. Weed. 100%. I love weed and smoke it on occasion, but every single person I know who swears that it's not addictive talks like an addict when they try to justify their non-stop smoking. I can quit whenever I want it helps take the edge off I'm a wreck if I don't smoke something if you think hardcore stoners are laid back, watch them train wreck when you suggest that maybe they're smoking so much because they're addicted. It may be low on the scale of things that are dangerous, and you won't die from withdrawal or anything, but to say it's not addictive on any level is just wrong. Nail biting. I am biting the skin around my nails too. It's terrible. My fingers haven't seen real skin in 14 years and it hurts constantly. Doing certain tasks is either hard or impossible due to the pain or lack of nails. I had multiple infections that hurt even more but I can't stop. I do it without even noticing. When I do it actively I just can't stop myself. Just be sure you do not go this one step further than biting nails. I feel like the vast majority of us are attached to electronics at this point. I barely know what the real world is like anymore. Using cell phones or the attitude around cell phones. Like when you go to school, just put your cell phone away and learn. When you go to work, just put your cell phone away and work. When you go to the movies, just put your cell phone away and watch the movie. When you at a gathering that requires communication of some type, just put your cell phone away and communicate. A lot of people use it as a shield to avoid things they fear. Lying. Vaping. It is better than cigarettes, NGL, even nicotine addiction is often overlooked in a way, but how much better? I know people that don't look like smokers, but they vape like crazy. They don't see any negative health impacts and think it is not that bad. But I had one friend that after 3 years of vaping like a chimney got rampant lung infections out of nowhere. One in December which he was like a zombie for the entire month. One three months later and now he still hasn't stopped vaping, 
but now again he has a fever and a hard time breathing and is going to the doctor new week. Vaping is way harder to quit than smoking because you can't do it consequence free anywhere and there's no beginning and end to it. There's no 5 minute smoke vape. There's just constant non-stop puffing. Nicotine is the devil. Porn and Thirst Trap Edition Going on to social media, Reddit looking for porn and thirst traps. It really makes you think all of this is normal. Sure some women want to be treated like that, maybe. But not all of them. Also social media attention, like posting stuff that gets a reaction or DM. It's addictive cause people online seem to give you more attention than those in real life. What is a thirst trap? Everyone's saying the basic ones, but salt is an often overlooked addiction that has negative effects on health in the long run. Shopping. And all the companies are constantly telling you to do more. I'm totally addicted to love. Do you have these symptoms? The lights are on, but you're not home. Your mind is not your own. Your heart sweats, your body shakes. Another kiss is what it takes. If you do please see you doctor. You're gonna have to face you're addicted to love. Porn, sugar, social media, and conspiracy theories. Prescription drugs like benzos. I think they are getting better at not over prescribing them though. Deleted. Exercise. We say that exercise is good, and it is, but some people take it to an extreme which can negatively affect their health forever. Off the top of my head I know it can cause infertility and osteoporosis. I was told being over 300 pounds is still damaging to your body. Whether that's fat or muscle, you're still overweight. Sugar. Phone addiction is often overlooked. Dopamine addiction. Doom scrolling. Like I'm doing in this thread, D, 